Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel, and today we're playing 1-2 cash games, buying for this game is $200. And just as we're doing that intro here, picking up a big one. And the 4-bet. So this goes open, flat, and squeeze. Sam's call. King's all in against aces. Well, that's not a friendly intro. <laughs> And we get stacked there. Uh, turn the boat here. So we bet flop. We're going to check the turn. And three river. And then they bet pot. We'll jam. Going for it all here. And they snap it off. Threes. Oh, what a river card. River's them a worse boat. The two outer to get stacked. Happy we checked that turn. That's how we got paid there. Right. Raise knight and suit to get through that flatting here. Go to the flop. Flop a gutter. Queen, queen, jack. Uh, bets we'll call one. Uh, see the jack on the turn. Checks. We'll go for half pot here. So we're going to have to come up with some bluffs. And the plan would be to use this one. I, mean, I can play queen x this way. Um, as played, I would probably be taking the song with jack x2 with a jam. So we'll jam it in here. Hoping for a fold. So I jam a little bit over pot here. Like I said, I think I can jam a jack here as well. So we jam any queen, any jack, which I'm going to have a decent amount of here. So got to pick up some bluffs. Seems like a natural one to use. Fold. Yes, all right, we get the fold. I was going say, it's always the most painful when they tank down the last second call. But uh, fortunately for us, we get the bluff through. Three red, ace, queen. This hand's playing heads up about the flop. Eight six six two on the turn. Half pot turn here. I'll probably bluff like any high card, um, king or jack, and then also jam the ace or queen for value. Ten's close. Um, I do think I'm gonna bluff this one too. Snap call. That's not good as jacks. All right, so. Try running a triple barrel bluff, maybe a little out of line there on the 10. Maybe should have stuck with the original plan of like a jack through an ace, but decided to jam the 10 doesn't work out. Here, cutoff opens, three betting aces, get four bets. Some flatting and some jamming will flat this time. 7 5 2 check. Check, check, king turn, check. So, in general, it's going to be a good card for them. Now, we do block the actual king queen stuff, but it's a good bluff card. So, we're just going to check call here and then call any river. Queen over check. Gonna be sad if he has kings or queens. We're right at pot behind, or sorry, it's a little bit less because we're the shorter stack. He has about pot behind. Kings, oh brother. What a day, what a day. Oh, it does have the kings. Like I said, it's kind of a scary run out given the action free, but they're just never, ever, ever folding there. All right, open nines here, going to check king seven five. And bet's half pot, check call one. Turn the nine, what a turn guard. Beautiful turn. Probably check raising here. Depends on what size you use. Pot size we can jam, smaller size it gets kind of awkward. Because if we even click this, it's like... I think we just jam. It's a bit big, but I mean, if we raise, we'd want to go at least, what, 61? I think our bluffs would want to jam. Yeah, we're just going to go for it. If they had the full, like, 100 big line stack to start, we'd go a little bit, we'd go smaller. But I think, again, so it's kind of sets up awkward because it's a pretty big jam, but I think we just go for it there and they fold. Good flop here at the ace king, top top. Bit of a wet. 
board, not in like the sense of a flush draw, but pair draws. Uh, let's see. Do we consider check jamming here? I'm gonna think about it. So I think we're gonna check. Pretty quick check, five river. And go for block size on river. Could also go big. Jams. Okay, so I'm thinking about calling here because I'm trying to figure out what hand he would value hand that would two pair would check here. So yeah, we're gonna call here. Shows the nine eights. We'll go to face king. I was gonna say we just have too strong a hand to consider checking there. Or folding, sorry. Once we block and check turn. Right, small blind opens here. Call in the big blind king eight suited. Flop top or flop the flush draw. Sorry, not top pair. <laughs> King I flush draw. Uh, some raising, some calling. We'll just go for call this time. Turn nine, so we turn the gutter as well. Overbets. I don't think we're going to raise risk overbet, but we are going to call here. And then call down anytime we hit the flusher straight. River 10. Hate bluffing with diamonds, but I just have such a bad hand here. Any jams we fold. King Jack over here, three betting, so this goes cut off open. We three bet, small blind cold call. Three race to the flop, bank. King Jack six, very good start. So definitely want to start with a bet here. See the call, eight on the turn, seems like a pretty safe turn. I'm gonna bet the turn here. Get raised. Uh, this doesn't seem like a bluff line very often, but it can be ace king. So can't imagine they have race folds here. So it's just gonna be a get in. If it's like a set of sixes, it's tilting, but just gonna be a get in. King Jack will be as ace king. King eight, nice. So tilting for him in the sense he turns two pairs. So we're gonna be good. Nice pot there with King Jack. Perfect turn card. Bluffing turn here. Check, check, flop, bet, turn. And a five river. So I think I could still bet ace king here if we go 75. So that's what we'll do here. We're up in like an ace king, king queen. We block the king queen. So he's not gonna have tons of ace king flats, but we will have some. So the queen probably more of a relevant blocker. He jams. We fold, bluff no good. So we have open three about the aces. Get call eight six six. Pretty good start here. They call two on the turn. Pretty good turn card. We'll be betting again. And then I think jamming any river, particularly when we have a spade, an eight would be a little difficult. Maybe not an eight, but any other river. Prefer still needs to see no spade, but with the ace of spades, we would be jamming. I think. Hopefully, it's like check jams like jacks here or tens, and we hold. So that's on call. King of spades river. This is actually kind of a terrible one in the sense of like it's hard to get him to call now with like the queens, the jacks. Like, what's he even calling? Is this one where I maybe make a tight check? Like, if I don't think he's going to call jacks here at the spade. Eh, I think we still probably go for it, but this is actually a bad spade. And we just see the fold. So I think we're most likely good, but I, I actually don't know if we're getting called by worse enough there. Like, if he's folding jacks or tens of the spade, like, we actually don't really get called by anything. Okay, open pre, we call. They check call flop. We're going to bet the turn. Raises. Oh, I think we just get this in because there could be draws and worse 10x. I mean, straight comes in. This is this is a bit scary, but this good of a 10, he is gonna have like some worse 10x that's taken this line. So we even beat some value, so we'll get it in. And it just ends up folding. We take it down. So raise the flop here, get call. We turn the straight. Betting turn. Don't want to see a heart river mainly. Raises. Um, I imagine we just want to get this in here. 
target is two pairs. It'll be a lot of scary rivers for us here. Don't he's gonna have a lot of raised calls here, so we're just gonna take a minute and then get it in with the nuts for now. And eventually do see a fold though and take it down with King Queen. So we have a hijack open, a button flat, we squeeze. Let's see two calls. Interesting one, so we have a pretty big range advantage here. We're gonna have East King in range, whereas our opponents probably don't super often. Um also like the we're gonna have a higher percentage of the sets here. But uh still gonna be checking this one. Turn eight, so it brings in the four liner, which isn't great, but we do have spades here, so we're gonna be checking to check call turn. See a bet, and then if we're gonna call here, and if I hit a spade, I might just lead. Four river check, and then if we face a river bet here, it'll be folding spot. But as played, see the jam, just gonna be letting this go. Squeezing king jack suited, so this is a I'm really gonna open hijack flat, we squeeze. See this player will call call, flop a king. Good start, we'll bet. So the, the stack pot ratio is pretty small here, so we're probably just gonna go bet and then jam a decent turn. Uh so it is hard to get worse to call, but we can hope they call like Jack Ton of Hearts, Queen Ton of Hearts. Um sometimes we'll call like tens here. A sex of hearts, people just stack off, so we're gonna jam for value. Sometimes valuing ourselves here, but I think I like jam. Even Jack 10's like double gutted here. People might call these off. It's only 28 hands on them, but they're playing 81 0 and 0, so I think we might get some lighter calls than normal here, which is makes me a little better about jamming King Jack too. I'm gonna say all this and they're gonna have King Queen, but <laughs> at least let's see you know what I'm thinking here when we jam. Obviously, we block them having Jack-10 combos with the Jack ourselves, but they end up folding we take it down with King-Jack. All right, YouTube, that's the end of a, another cash game a video here, and unfortunately, a very bad one, as we got absolutely crushed today. Uh, so, wait for six hours at 2-5-1-2 in the 2-5 game, 325 hands of minus 521. In the 1-2 game, 1,953 hands of minus 1,055. Total loss of minus 1,576. Either our biggest loss of the year or second biggest, so... Either way, not very fun, but hopefully we'll bounce back next time out. So at least hope you guys enjoyed today's hands and the video. If you did, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you ever want to catch the live streams on Twitch, I have a link to my Twitch channel in the description below.